Hello and welcome to another new episode of Under the Hood and with me of course I have Ashish Singh Joshi CEO Classic Legends Motorcycle under which Java YSD and BSA motorcycles come thank you for being on the show sir and uh, congratulations on this new launch which is the Java 42 and in this video sir will be sharing a lot of interesting details with us about the motorcycle where the brand is going and a lot more so stay tuned So the first question that I would like to ask you is that of course this is from the 42 series however this does look like a step up from what we have seen in this series so is that the demand that uh, you guys saw from your customers for a more premium product or what has been the strategy and the understanding behind this product? See for us the 42 FJ that you are seeing today redefines the 42 life. This, this is in its bolder avatar. This is the motorcycle that combines performance, design, safety, all of these into, into the 42. Now from a price point of view, this complements perfectly the existing 42s. And imagine this, the existing 42s also, uh, on August 13th, we updated uh, the 300 cc range with the J Panther engine and this one now has the new Alpha 2 engine coming into the into the 42s as well so that is where where the difference is so the performance side is is helmed by the by the uh, Alpha 2 engine on this motorcycle the design if you look at there's a lot of design features that we can talk about the, the redesigned fuel tank the offset cap the side claddings on the on the tank the sweep of the exhaust flows, this has got bigger exhaust uh, outlets as well. So lots and lots of design elements in there that we can talk about. We take our safety and comfort very seriously as well. On the safety front, it's got bigger 320mm disc brakes. It's got our very well acclaimed dual channel ABS system from Continental. It's also got uh, very, very nice, how would I say, handling on, on mm -hmm. the machine. So it's overall, it's a complete package on this motorcycle. This is, to my mind, a go anywhere, ride anywhere kind of product. Uh, because it is, it's got the 350 engine now on it. It is. 30 horsepower, near 30 horsepower, near 30 newton meters of torque. So uh, all in all, a package which just just sits in perfectly alongside the the other 42s. Yeah, definitely. And uh, with the Alpha 2 engine, with its output of around 29.6 newton meters, that's a good amount of talk for your everyday riding even if you're doing you know your highway rides and all that so of course that is something that i think would be appreciated a lot by java fans but sir if you could lay it down in simple terms for us how would you want a typical java customer to differentiate between the fj and the rest of the series of the 42 see the fj uh is is amongst the bigger bikes on the uh, 42 platform it is the 334cc alpha 2 yeah. engine on there the others are 300cc so there will be a differentiation there is a differentiation on price points as well now on august 13th when we launched the the new series on 42 we expanded what was a price point prior to that the price point was 190 to 198 so you had a choice only of 8000 rupee price points the variants and the models that we added in on the august on august 13th mm -hmm. brought that on from 173 to 198 so you had 25000 rupee Big price point today's edition from 199 to 220 now stretches the 42 range from 173 on the lowest spectrum to 220 on the highest spectrum. So good 47,000 rupee differential and 
a host of motorcycles to choose from in there. Mm. And I haven't even added in the 42 Bobber. So there is a, a range of these three which is parked there. Yeah. And the 42 Bobber, that motorcycle is, is peaks at 230. So it, it there's, there's even, even like 57,000 rupees of, of price differential. So staying on that point, so the, this bike has been launched between the rupees 1.99 to 2.20 lakh bracket. And uh, what I noticed was that between the base variant and the top variant and uh, they having the difference of having spoked wheels and the alloy wheels, it is mainly the colors that are differentiated and that is a really good thing also that I feel because... Colors and finishes yep. are the ones that, that are differentiated as well. And uh, the slip and assist clutch, six-speed gearbox, everything, everything is, is standard across everything the range. Everything is, is carried across the range and uh, even the spoke wheels have got XL rims. So they are actually alloy rims. They are actually alloy rims yep. and they are made by XL rims. Okay. So they are not they are not uh, stainless steel rims. They are XL rims on, okay. on the F2. Okay, that's great. So any plans of exporting these bikes as well in the coming time? Yes. Uh, see, we are exporting Javas through our uh, uh, the company that owns the Java Mark, yep. Java Czech Republic. They buy our motorcycles and are selling in 19 countries. And uh, this is a motorcycle uh, which is actually now being sent out to them as well. Uh, the 42 FJ is, is on its way to them for them to, to look at and then uh, and come back to us and start placing orders for it. And that is really important because Sir earlier in his presentation gave a very insightful, interesting story on the story behind the FJ name. Sir, can you please yes. tell our audience about that? See, the FJ in our 42 FJ stands for the initials of Franicek Janicek, who was the founder of Java Motorcycles. He founded the company back in 1929 and F and J stand for his, his name. So this is our way of, of paying a tribute to the founder of Java. That is something that a lot of riders, even motorcycling enthusiasts, even of my generation might not be, you know, receptive to words and that is something that you should notice when you come go to your nearest dealership and look at one of the new FJs and uh, that's it folks you can have a Java from as low as 173 173 to up to 230 so I think it's safe to say that there is a Java today now for everyone <laughs> so thank you so much sir for speaking to us thank you pleasure to talk to you and see you guys in the next one